Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Shamika if you are new here and if you're joining us for the first time, make sure you subscribe. So today I'm gonna to be sharing my wash routine with you all. I went to my stylist about three weeks ago and this is what my hair looks like after a three week silk press. Um, so my stylist gave me a lot of tips and a lot of tricks and he also gave me some products that he wanted me to use. The first one that he suggested was this Mazzani Silk Press Agent, which is a thermal smoothing sulfate free shampoo. All of the products that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video are by Mazzani and it's from their press agent line. So my hair is low to medium porosity. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is making sure that I get it really saturated. I really want to make sure that my hair is wet and that it has absorbed the water. Then this is what my curls look like when my hair is fully saturated. So I would guess you can say like I'm a 4B, 4C texture. So next I'm going to take my Mazzani Thermal Smoothing Sulfate Free Shampoo and I'm going to use that on my roots. This is my first wash so it's not going to get as, it's not going to lather up as much. So this year, my goal is to really grow my hair out. I'm really hoping that I can get to bra strap length by the end of the year. So make sure you guys subscribe so you can see if we hit our goal. But as you can see, I'm just really focusing that shampoo on my scalp and trying to cleanse my scalp. And then as I'm rinsing it out, I'm going to let it run down my hair shaft and kind of work it in there as well. For my second wash, which the shampoo is gonna lather up much, much more. I'm sure this happens with everybody's hair. The first wash is kinda, it be me it. But that second wash, that's when you really get the suds and the soap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. And I'm really just sectioning my hair and working that shampoo into each section to make sure that I really get it dispersed all throughout my head and that my scalp is really getting clean because the first thing that goes bad is my scalp. I have a really, really dry scalp. Now that I've washed all the shampoo out, I'm gonna go in with my Mazzani Thermal Smooth and Sulfate Free Conditioner. But I first like to section my hair into two sections to apply my conditioner. I used a pretty generous amount of the conditioner because I really wanted to make sure that my hair was saturated. This is what the conditioner looks like. Like I said, everything is from the Mazzani Press Asian line. And I also have everything linked down below in my Amazon storefront. These products are really hard to get in a regular store store I guess because they're like salon type of products you know you're not just going to find this at your regular store so I was lucky enough to get it off of Amazon so you guys should definitely check it out so I'm just working that conditioner into my hair the products do smell really really good as well um, it made me feel like I was at the salon because this is how my hair smells after my stylist does it next I'm going to take my shower comb I like to use this to really detangle my hair while in the shower and it's perfect because it has that round like the little roundness at the end so i just leave it hanging in my shower love this this is also linked down below in my amazon storefront so i'm really going to be combing through my hair making sure that conditioner is worked all the way through and then i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side Once I rinse out the conditioner, now we're on to the blow dry. 
and baby this blow dry gave me a run for my money so my stylist gave me um a new technique oh i'm using the mazani 25 miracle milk leave-in conditioner it has 25 benefits this is my first time using it, so it was kind of hard to pump out. But I'm going to be using that. This isn't from the Press Asian line, but it's still by Mazzani. So, yeah, I really do like it. So, my stylist... Oh, and then I'm going to... I'm, I'm trying to get to the blow dry part so fast. So, I'm going to just um, comb that through my hair with another wide tooth comb. And then I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off into six sections. Now, normally when I go to the salon, my stylist, he sections my hair off into five sections. But... I, it just made more sense for me to do six. I don't know. The symmetry just makes more sense to me. So I'm going to go ahead and twist up each section so that it can be put away and, you know, retain this moisture while I work on the other sections. And then we're going to get into the blow dry technique. So for the blow dry technique, um, my style is recommended that I use a smoothing attachment that comes with the blow dryer. This was my first time ever using this attachment and it gave me a run for my money. It was not easy at all, you guys. I don't know if you guys ever use that attachment, but it was, it was a struggle. But he recommended me using it because it is the best. Um, attachment to use when you're going for a silk press, which I wasn't necessarily going for a silk press, but I did want smooth hair. So I tried my best to use it, but it was honestly a struggle for you guys, for me, you guys. You guys are going to see it as um, we go through the process. This is my blow dryer, so it comes with a smoothing attachment as well as a comb attachment. And then for a heat protector, we're going to use the Press Agent Thermal Smooth and Rain Coat Styling Cream. And we're going to use the Press Agent Thermal Smooth and Rain Coat Styling Serum. So it's just a serum and a cream that you mix together. You really only need a tiny, tiny amount of product for each section. So I'm gonna take literally a dime size amount of product for each section, mix them up together in my hands, and then I'm gonna put them in my head on each section that I do before I proceed with the blow dry. So back to the blow dry girl. That blow dry was a struggle. Using that smoothing tool and the brush, it was it was much more difficult than I anticipated anticipated it being. My stylist makes it look so easy and it's really not. Maybe it was difficult for me because I'm left-handed. I'm not sure, but the purpose of the smoothing tool on the blow dryer is that um, it's supposed to help your hair actually be smooth so that it flows better and it's supposed to just, it's supposed to do a better job than the comb attachment because you have your brush, so you have the tension and then because it's a really concentrated air, it's supposed to really, you know, tackle one area. I don't know. As you guys can see, I am struggling. Good thing I was not going for a silk press with this wash day because it wasn't working for you, girl. So I did the best that I could with the smooth attachment. I think I did like the whole entire one in, one side of my head with the smooth attachment. Or maybe I just did two sections. I think I just did two sections with the smooth attachment. And then I went back to the comb attachment because like I said, I wasn't going for a silk press after this blow dry anyway but it was it was challenging y'all I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed I don't know I don't know why I struggle with this attachment but I'm also alternating between hot and cold air the same way my stylist does so I didn't go through it my entire head with just hot air I used hot and cool air and then as you can see I'm back on the comb attachment because baby that's what I know that's what's easy but the difference is the comb attachment isn't going to get your hair as straight you know like the smooth attachment is really supposed to get your blow dry to be as straight as possible so that you don't have to use as much heat with the flat iron but it just was not working for me girl so I think I'm gonna have to leave that for my stylist when I do go to the salon but I'm still alternating between hot and cool air with the comb attachment and just going for what I know doing what I usually do girl because 
baby. I don't know. Y'all try that out at home with that smooth attachment in the, comb, in the brush. And y'all let me know how it worked for y'all. But it was a struggle for me. It really, really was. But I did notice the difference between the results with the smooth attachment and with the comb. So what I decided to do was... When I did use the comb, I would go back over the ends of the hair with just the smooth attachment because I noticed that the smooth attachment, it made my hair smoother. Like my ends were straighter. They weren't so frizzy and, you know, just looking untamed. I feel like it just had the shaft of the hair all going in one direction. So I did make sure to go back over each section that I used with the comb with the smooth attachment as well just to have that you know, just to have the ends as straight as possible. So this is what my hair looked like once I was completely done with the blow dry. It looks pretty good to me. I did think it looked fine, but my roots definitely were not as straight um, as they were when I'm in a salon. And so then I used this Mazzani 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil. It's just a lightweight oil. I put that on my hair just to give my hair a little bit of oil. And that's all for the video, guys. I don't feel like my hair had as much movement as it does when I leave the salon, but who cares? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on my next one. Bye.